Watch this cluster bomb as it is dropped from this jet. Here, before it hits the ground, it's detonated, releasing over a hundred deadly mini-bombs. They disperse over a wide area. It's effective, but indiscriminate and highly controversial. And now will be supplied to the Ukrainian army for use against Russia. I discussed this with our allies, discussed this with our friends up on the hill. And uh, we're in a situation where Ukraine continues to be brutally attacked. Cluster bombs are already being used by the Russians in this war. But this move by the US will cause unease among NATO allies, including Britain. The UK is signatory to a convention which prohibits the production or use of cluster munitions and discourages their use. We will continue to do our part to support Ukraine against Russia's illegal and unprovoked invasion. We've done that by providing heavy battle tanks and most recently long-range weapons. 123 countries have signed a convention banning the use of cluster munitions because they end up killing more civilians than soldiers. President Zelensky is very short of weapons and particularly the counteroffensive isn't going well and he needs to break through the Russian defences and that's a minefield and a trench system. Bluntly, he could clear those using manpower, but it'd be a huge cost. Instead, cluster munitions offer a way of blowing up the minefield, clearing a path through and potentially delivering a decisive breakthrough from Ukrainian forces. Kyiv has assured Washington these bombs will not be used near civilian populations. This is a war and, and uh, we are dealing with an enemy who is killing our civilians every day. But like I said, we will use, and this is clearly written in the position of the Minister of Defence of Ukraine, these cluster munitions will not be used in urbanised uh, territories. They will be used only on the battlefield. President Zelensky has hailed this move as timely, as the conflict passes yet another key milestone. I want to thank each of our soldiers for these 500 days from right here, from this place, the place of victory. Thank you to everyone who fights for Ukraine and let the freedom that all our heroes of different times wanted for Ukraine. And that must be won right now. Ukraine's leaders say they need the cluster bombs in their fight against the Russians. And while the Prime Minister has not publicly condemned the American decision to supply the weapons, NATO members are divided. It is sure to dominate the agenda when they meet next week. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.